We good? Hey, we're at Matthew Jordan Presents here at East LA Comic Con. And what's your name? Uh, Rodolfo. Rodolfo. Uh, Patrick Martinez. Patrick Martinez. Jonathan Diaz. Jonathan Diaz. And I think what everyone wants to know, how did you guys start East LA Comic Con? How did this all begin? Well, it's been an idea that's been thrown around for a few years. Um, we just decided we got to do it here in East LA. It's time to, you know, do it out here in, in our neighborhood. We're all from East LA. We all grew up somewhere in East LA. Uh, and we don't, have, we don't have a show like this. Uh, you know, when, when people want to go to a show like this, they got to go somewhere else. They got to go to either San Diego, Anaheim, other, other cities, uh, downtown. So we thought, it, you know, it's time to bring, bring something here. And how do you feel about the turnout on, on the first annual East LA Comic Con? Turnout has been amazing. We, are, we couldn't have asked for a better turnout. We love the fact that the community showed up, the community supported us. People traveled from near and far to be here, both you know, to sell, you know, both vendors and you know, people cosplaying. We have people visiting, people buying stuff. You know, we are like just so excited and so grateful for this amazing turnout. Absolutely. Sorry, I mean, but the one thing I do want to cover on on on, on the uh, crowd, and I want to say that I'm very very proud of my community right now because they've been patient. They've been coming in. I know we've only been able to let few people in at a time you know at least like five to six people but everyone has the community has been great they've been standing out there patiently they, and in the heat it's like 90 out there so I want to say to you guys you guys this is why this is successful and I want to make it clear that I'm very proud of you guys and I'm so glad that you guys because it was a worry it was a worry with the crowd I, we, we won't lie uh, yeah. absolutely yeah and then I know and then how did you guys kind of agree to make it free so that everyone could kind of uh, attend and talking about the importance of that that was something we kind of struggled with. Yeah. I mean, we, we thought, you know, we definitely wanted to make it affordable, whether it was free or, or not uh, was something we discussed. And ultimately we said, you know what, we'll make, we'll make this one free. Uh, future events, we'll see, you know, we'll see on turnout, we'll see on the venue space. Uh, but yeah, we are amazed and we are so grateful that we had this awesome turnout and we still have people that are waiting hours, waiting like an hour or so outside. Exactly, and yeah, can you actually just, Talk about the positive impact this can have for all the members of the East LA community and just Latinos, you know, talking about comics and, and for like a kind of a positive good. And even maybe some of the nerds of, of, of uh, the Power Rangers, the, the geeks of LA, yeah. The geeks of East LA, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it, it's, it's, a, it's a positive uh, event. Uh, I mean, you know, kids around here don't have this. So, so it's good for them uh, to have an outlet to come out here and, and, and pick up some comic books. Uh, get into the comic book, you know, the comic book world because it, it's hard to get into it. So when you have an event like this, they come out here, they check it out, they get interested. So, you know, they'll be comic book fans from now on. So that, that's a good thing. Another thing for me, and I, 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 I feel the rest of us that organize this think this, um, to have it in a community like this, because, you know, we get, we, get, we get negative thrown on us. So uh, this is to show that our community and any community that's similar like this can achieve the exact same thing. And we're proving that we can achieve it and we can have success and we can have a good crowd. So any other community that wants to follow suit, follow suit. Any, any community you feel like you're like East LA, do it because it can be done. And we need it all to show we can do it. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. And in our, uh, our interview with We the Geeks of East LA, they were talking about coming out of the geek closet. Yeah. And I think that's, that's totally apt, especially for this area, you know, like, you know, you know, we, there's, you know, bullying within the geek community, just like there is in other communities. So we, you know, definitely wanted to make it known that, you know, you know, geeks are in East LA. You know, there are people here that love comic books, love artwork, love writing, love cosplaying, love every aspect of pop culture. And, you know, hey, come on down, join us, you know. There's one thing I want to bring in, uh, Peter Malini. We all talked about it. This is the man that, that said, you know what? Throw the bones on the table. I'm going to do it. So, like, if we were to form, this would be Jizza. He'd be the head. Jizza, the Rizza. How's it going? You just introduce yourself for anyone who doesn't know. Uh, I'm Peter Malini. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm the owner of Nostalgia Books and Comics and helped put this whole thing together. Great, absolutely. He is our founder. The founder. He went, he went from talking it. He just went, you know what? Gonna throw it on the table. Uh, like, how long has this been in the works, though? Like, for you, like, as far as just technically getting all this ready, as far as vendors, suppliers, who's gonna appear, <laughs> cosplay? Are we talking about like, years? No, I mean, we've been talking about it for years, but it's been like eight, nine months, I think. 
talked yeah. about it for like a good decade. This was the time <laughs> we got it done in about seven, six, seven to eight months. It, it, it gelled out. Yeah, we just got to that point where we're like, let's just get it done and start now. And then it just, you know, it grew from there. And also on a lighter note, what is your favorite cosplay costume that you've seen today? Today. You know what? No, no, no. Yeah, you saw Mary Jane? Yeah. Mary Jane. Wait, I thought that was Poison Ivy, you know? No, no. That was Mary Jane. Little spider hunt shirt. Wow. You know, for me, the ones that did it were the little ones, the little Nacho and the little Yes, yes I have them. Yes, check it out. Yes. I got them. I got them. I interviewed them. Is that, is that your favorite as well? Nacho Libre Group. Definitely. What, what about you? Did you have a favorite that wasn't Nacho or. Uh... The Red Skull. Like, he took, oh, he took me off. I got him too. Like, yo. Yeah. Yes, I got yeah. scared of him. I had a hell of him. <laughs> I felt bad. I felt like I, I, I did the wrong thing, but he said, he said hail Hydra to me. I was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. And uh, is there anything you want to tell uh, the people at home uh, what you have planned for next year's East LA Comic Con? What they can look forward to? <laughs> I guess, uh, that's a Monday problem, I think. <laughs> no, uh, we're talking about we're probably gonna get somewhere bigger, only because we. I, I don't know. I'm debating. I still kind of like this. I like that, you know. I, I, like, I like it here, but it, it is small. Yeah. It is small, and then I, I, we don't want to have people waiting out there, and, and so we'll, we'll come up with a good solution for, for yeah. something, yeah. And um, so, guys, it's a brand. So after this, continue with the like page. Because what's going to happen there, I know vendors want to place there with their stuff. We're going to put there there. I know we're, we're planning to do a bunch of things to keep the brand going. So that way it sticks in your mind and it's on your tongue. So just follow, keep following through. Okay, just keep following uh, East LA Comic Con. Follow them out. And where, where can they follow you? Where can they follow you? Uh, well, me personally, uh, I am at Jedi Journalist on all social media and follow East LA Comic Con. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, everything is East LA Comic Con on Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram, everything is East LA Comic Con. Okay, now, yeah, so for this episode, go ahead and check out Matthew Jordan Presents. Uh, I'll be getting it out to all these guys as well. We had a successful first annual East LA Comic Con, and we are so excited for more. Thanks, yeah, guys. Thank you. <laughs>